Chapter 57 Wonderful Possibilities It is our privilege to reach higher and still higher for clearer revealings of the character of God. When Moses prayed, I beseech thee, show me thy glory, see Exodus 33:18. The Lord did not rebuke him, but he granted his prayer. God declared to his servant, I will make all my goodness pass before thee, and will proclaim the name of Jehovah before thee, verse 19, ARV. It is sin that darkens our minds and dims our perceptions. As sin is purged from our hearts, the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ, illuminating his word and reflected from the face of nature, more and more fully will declare him merciful and gracious, long-suffering and abundant in goodness and truth. Exodus 34, 6. In his light shall we see light, until mind and heart and soul are transformed into the image of his holiness. Wonderful possibilities are open to those who lay hold of the divine assurances of God's word. There are glorious truths to come before the people of God, privileges and duties which they do not even suspect to be in the Bible will be laid open before them. As they follow on in the path of humble obedience, doing His will, they will know more and more of the oracles of God. Let the student take the Bible as his guide and stand like a rock for principle, and he may aspire to any height of attainment. All the philosophies of human nature have led to confusion and shame when God has not been recognized as all in all. But the precious faith inspired of God imparts strength and nobility of character. As His goodness, His mercy, and His love are dwelt upon, clearer and still clearer will be the perception of truth. Higher, holier the desire for purity of heart and clearness of thought. The soul dwelling in the pure atmosphere of holy thought is transformed by intercourse with God through the study of His Word. Truth is so large, so far-reaching, so deep, so broad that self is lost sight of. The heart is softened and subdued into humility, kindness, and love. And the natural powers are enlarged because of holy obedience. From the study of the words of life, students may come forth with minds expanded, elevated, ennobled. If they are, like Daniel, hearers and doers of the word of God, they may advance as he did in all branches of learning. Being pure-minded, they will become strong-minded. Every intellectual faculty will be quickened. They may so educate and discipline themselves that all within the sphere of their influence may see what man can be and what he can do when connected with the God of wisdom and power.